Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video here. Here, uh, turn off that fan for a second there so you can hear me. But uh, I just wanted to make this quick video because I just bought these. I don't know if you can see there, what does it say? 10 out of 12 pieces. 10 out of 12 pieces. And uh, look at this. How many we got here? Let's see. Here, I'm going to flip this around. Boom. How many we got here? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uh, cinco, seis, uh, I don't know French. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Boom. Thirteen. Now, uh, what's the significance of thirteen? Well, uh, my boy, my boy, Jason Voorhees. Finally, this lawsuit seems to be uh, at least uh, getting in the right direction. And uh, literally, I was just about to make food. My hair's a bloody mess today. Not that it matters. Going bald anyway. Shaving it all off again for the summer. Uh, hell, who knows? Maybe I'll play Jason. <laughs> yeah, just put a bunch of cake, a bunch of makeup on me. I'd be the perfect. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite as. Uh, Jack, though, as uh, <laughs> Kane Hodder, not even close. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, guys, settle this fucking lawsuit. We've been waiting long enough now. Uh, literally. Uh, <laughs> the last time, I'm thinking back, the last time I made a Friday the 13th video, my tirade on the video game, <laughs> that's probably like my lowest viewed video ever. So why I'm even making this video now, just spur of the moment, me making food. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably throw it in the oven right about now. That would be a very good idea. Watch, I burn myself while that's happening. Here. To be smart, I'm going to set a timer. Because I like talking with you guys, and I want to... Like I said previously, I was thinking about <laughs> making this a uh, a uh, edited video, where I'd go into a uh, editing program and, uh, I don't know, do, do some funny things. Like, uh, I was going to make a joke about how, oh, like, I got so many views on my last... Uh, since I got so many views on my last Friday the 13th, then cut to a shot of uh, <laughs> how many views it's got. I think it's got like 14 views. Maybe two people liked it. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, why the hell am I making this? Uh, but yeah, I, I just <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. Uh, because yeah, my, my boy Jason, you know, I, I want to see a movie. Uh, at this point, DLC for this video game, uh, it's, it seems pretty, uh, too, a little too much to ask for. I mean, uh, however, that, that's what I feel like it's coming down to, because, uh, I've noticed recently Gun Media has been, uh, doing these, like, videos on their, uh, channel and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, what the fuck, they're, they're doing videos now? Because I'll subscribe to their channel for some reason, just due to the fact that I got the Friday the 13th game. And all of a sudden, one of their videos pop up. I'm like, oh, sweet. You know, and I've been keeping up with everybody else. Uh, today was literally, or maybe yesterday, I forget. But uh, news has been dropping that uh, Horror Inc. or Sean Cunningham has uh, apparently dropped the charges. I mean, dropped the char what charges. No, it's a copyright thing. So uh, dropped the appeal or whatever the hell. I, I'm not very, I'm not a lawyer myself, so I don't know this crap. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm taking this as a sign that this is good news for the Friday, the 13th franchise, and, uh, I have a feeling that real soon, like, not, not right away, a lot of these outlets like, uh, Slash and Cast and, uh, Sleeve Biker and all these other guys I watch, uh, to do with these updates. I saw a really great video, I can't remember which channel it was, I almost want to look up it, it up, but, uh, ah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, I like uh, talking with you guys anyhow. Uh, yeah, all the information's on YouTube, as you know. Clearly, you guys are keeping up with it probably more than I am. Probably as soon as this is uploaded, however long it takes to upload, like uh, there will hopefully be more news to come. Uh, 
yeah, they, this is just very good news for the Friday Thirteenth franchise. Uh, I really hope that they can finally get a film going. You know, get they they probably already got like tons of scripts for a potential Friday the Thirteenth film that they're literally just sitting on, and this will be the thirteenth Friday the Thirteenth film. This is like there. There's a part of me that's thinking. Whoever gets the, uh, whoever's lucky enough, because in my opinion, I'd be fucking honored to direct, like anybody should be honored to direct like a Friday the 13th film at this point. As much as critics shit on the franchise and shit like that, I think the fact that this is the 13th film and this has the potential to be not only critically well received if we're talking about a studio like Blumhouse doing it where they, uh, they did the recent Halloween, and sure, like, uh, it, it was a fine movie. I understand people's problems with it. I understand why people really liked it. I just thought it was good, like, okay. Uh, I was really looking forward to Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, from the trailers, like, I thought she was going to be just amazing. But uh, I, I don't know. It was just, it was okay. Like, her performance was great and all. It's just, uh, I don't know, maybe the fact that it relied too much on, on comedy. Like, the tone kept, like, throwing me for a loop. I'm just like... Oh, okay, I really like it. And then all of a sudden, you know, comedy scene comes out of nowhere. And uh, really, it's only the killings in the film that kept me invested. And uh, for, for a Friday the 13th movie, I really hope they don't go that route. Where it's just like, uh, oh, we're, we're going to do just like a... Uh, I really hope they do something unique. Like, uh, I was thinking the other day, you know who would be the perfect director for a 13th Friday the 13th film? David Lynch. I couldn't believe I thought of this the other day, and that's another reason why I'm so happy I made this video, because, you know, he he does violence really well. Like, he does violence in a way where it's, where it's really horrifying and, and disturbing, yet he doesn't have to go, like, overboard with it, even though, like, he does, but he does it in a very, uh, very artful way. And what I want to see from a... Uh, Got to switch hands here. Uh, what, what I want to see from a new... Uh, Friday the 13th film, I want to see a more uh, artistic approach to this character. I want to see them take the, myth the mythology, because what I love about Jason Voorhees, why he's my favorite uh, horror uh, villain of all time, is because his origin is, is still up in the air, right? How he comes back is still up in the air. Sure, it's assumed that it's because of his mother, right? Maybe his mother played or put some sort of curse on him through killing those kids in the first film. Like maybe that's a part in what brings him back and so that as soon if she kills a certain amount of people, let's say 13 people just to keep with the uh, franchise norm, I guess, or the title. Like as soon as she killed 13 people, like I don't know how many kills are that she commits in that first film. I don't know how many there are. That'd be really cool if it was like exactly 13 murders that Pamela uh, committed you know and then finally she's the 14th one to get killed in that film uh, obviously because uh, her head gets chopped off by uh, the main character and uh, yeah like I, I just think they could do some really creative stuff with it and a guy like David Lynch I mean uh, <laughs> like I, I love it I know some people I know the argument right away is like oh I, I don't want like some creative BS like to go into my Friday the 13th film. I just want a straightforward, uh, you know, slasher film, like with, uh, with a couple sex scenes here and there and a lot of fucking kills and bloody violence and gore. That's all I want. And uh, yeah, I, I do agree, but I think a guy like David Lynch could do that, you know, because he, a lot of his films are very sexual, like a lot of nudity, a lot of sexual themes and stuff like that. But uh, a lot of his films are very violent, too. You know, you watch this recent season of Twin Peaks, some of the most violent, uh, shocking stuff to, to sit in your mind for forever. And that, that's the type of film that I want to see, especially since this is going to be the 13th film. Like, th this is one of those franchises where it's it's not like 007 where it's like oh every seventh film should be like something special or you know something random like that involving a number 
this <laughs> this is just there's something so cool about uh, thinking how you know this is going to be the 13th film and you know they, they should pull out all the stops in my opinion to make this something just out of this world phenomenal and that's why I think they really need to bring in somebody with a uh, with a real not only passion for this character like I don't even know if David Lynch is particularly a big fan of this franchise but even if he isn't a guy like him or say for instance David Cronenberg who had a cameo in Jason X get get a filmmaker like either one of those guys like I think Cronenberg would probably be a a more uh, assured bet for people because like uh, David Lynch he seems to be more in his uh, in his own realm and wanting to stick with uh, you know his own uh, ideas and like I, I think maybe or no no he he made uh, two movies or may, maybe another one that I'm missing but uh, he made a couple movies based off of books like uh, Elephant Man and uh, Dune like uh, <laughs> but clearly uh, Dune was a little bit lesser than Elephant Man Elephant Man came before and then Dune came afterwards and I can't wait for that reboot. By the way, that Dune reboot, that's going to be so cool. Uh, by uh, Denis Villeneuve. Speaking of French, like, uh, talk, trying to count earlier in French. Oh, man. Uh, but, yeah, really, like, uh, yeah, that, that's about it, really. Let, let's try to make this video as short as possible. But, again, uh, thank you guys for sticking around with me. I'm sorry it was such a... Uh, I just looked at it the other day the gap in the videos that I did I think it was like May 2018 was some mid-May 2018 was the last video that I did and uh, yeah literally just a week or so probably a week ago was my uh, Captain Marvel return glorious return video and uh, of course the Captain Marvel train you know keeps <laughs> keeps well Brie Larson keeps uh, churning out the bullshit so uh I'm sure if there's something major, I mean, I already hear all these other channels complaining to high heavens about Brie Larson. Uh, my one one hour video was enough, in my opinion. I mean, I'm just going to be uh, regurgitating uh, what, what I said uh, again and again and again at that point. But uh, yeah, I, th I think what I'm going to do next, uh, I, I definitely want to make a... Uh, I got a bunch of films on my uh, laptop here that I want to watch, but next next couple of videos here, I'll, I'll do a little rundown of what I want to do next, and uh, hopefully I'll stick with it. What I want to do next, I want to do my favorite films, or just films that I saw in 2018, because I saw so many films in 2018. I see a lot of critics online. They saw, like, uh, like guys who are ranking stuff. They literally rank all the films they've seen, and I've seen, like, a good chunk of films. I think I've seen about... 30 maybe 40 maybe 50 I, I don't know I've seen a lot of films this year literally when 2018 started I was just so hooked on films I was just watching them left and right that's actually part of the reason why I stopped making videos because I was just so uh, into everything else whether it be video games music less so music I mean my favorite band is Seven Dust and really they're the only one I only band I keep up with by the way, bring back Seven Dust to make a uh, song, like a title track for uh, Friday the 13th because they had an amazing song uh, called Leech on the Freddy vs. Jason album. And uh, that's the best song on the album. One of the best songs from them, for sure. Great band. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, but yeah, like we, re we really need to pull out all the stops for another Friday the 13th film. Or the filmmakers themselves really need to pull out all the fucking stops, in my opinion. Get a great filmmaker, great cast. Bring back Tommy Jarvis. I think that'd be really great. Even if they if they bring back the same actor from uh, Jason Lives, because he was in the short film uh, Never Hike Alone, if I recall. If they bring him back, oh boy, oh boy, that that'd be really good. Actually, I guess if you count that uh, short film, that would technically be the third. Technically, be the thirteenth Friday the Thirteenth film. But the fact that it's uh, not official and it's fan made. Uh, kind of uh, holds me back from uh, claiming that as a 13th film, but still for for a fan film That was pretty good and the fact that he brought back that actor that played Tommy Was uh, really something and commendable and if they're gonna get somebody If they wanted to bring on a new filmmaker, maybe he would do the trick just fine 
Uh, but personally, I would prefer a more seasoned filmmaker, like a guy like David Lynch or David Cronenberg, <laughs> who's another David I can think of. Bring back Paul Verhoeven, how about that? <laughs> Somebody who just knows how to make a really strong movie that audiences can love. And uh, yeah, anyhow, that's it for me for now. Guys, I'll see you real soon, I promise. And soon enough, you'll be seeing me make a video on this game. This game. I've been... Actually, th this is the main reason why I've been so uh, so uh, busy. You know, I've been keeping up with this game ever since I got it. When did it come out? Like a month ago or something like that? A month ago? Uh, <laughs> customizing my character now. Need to get these two things. Oh man, yeah, this is such a cool look. Actually, I really need to. <laughs> Anyhow, you you'll hear me talk about this and the my favorite movies as well, real soon of 2018. And uh, there's some other things as well that I'd like to talk about uh, that I can't really think of right now. So uh, again, I can't thank you enough. <sighs> look at that. That's still hanging up there. I need to tear that shit down. I might have a thing or two to say about uh uh, the four, <laughs> the, the thing that shall not be named, but, uh, anyhow, thanks again, guys, for keeping up with me, uh, yeah, stay warm, because it's chilly out, brr, brr.